Ken. Ken, where are you? I'm in. Uh, I lost you for a minute. A short arse, you can't. <laughs> Six clean. Barry. Come and take your number, sir. There he oh, is, well. the legend that is Mr. Bally. Who's Evan? Oh, la 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 la. Yourself out. Well, where are we going from? Eh? 19. 6 to 19. 19? Another long walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Darren. Darren. Oh, he's on the phone. Steve. Thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Six. Ooh, MP. That's good today. I'd take that any day. Yeah, mate. Yeah. 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 Fourteen. Fourteen. James! Yeah, Who you got, James? Yeah, you got seven. Seven. Yeah. We got? Josh! Seven? seven. Yeah. 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 Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Flyer. Ben. Me. Who's Ben? That's me. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, two left. No. Ooh. I hate that peg. Yeah. I absolutely What's hate left? that peg. What's left? That's Paul Sutton. <clears throat> Morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, you've just seen the draw. So I'm on peg eight on Auburn's Lakes. I managed to squeeze a cheeky Thursday off from work. Um, so yeah, uh, I've drawn peg eight, which isn't actually one of my favorite pegs at all. Um, I, I have fished this peg a few times. Uh, you've got a tree here to the left and then you've got a bush here to the right. So it's quite tight, but if you look here, sort of in this line here, there's, it deepens right off. There's a real deep shelf here. And you've got to be very, very careful that you don't, well, when you're bringing fish in, you sort of lose them. So just where that fish top there, that's where the sort of real deep shelf is. Um, right, so keeping all that in mind, my, my plan for the day is going to be obviously pinging pellets out here, fishing the slow sinker. Um, it's a little bit nippy today, so what I'm planning to probably do is chuck a method over the top uh, and fish the same line. Um, I am going to feed a short line around here as well, in this area here, because um, it is very deep here. So I'm thinking maybe even a few carp, a few bream, uh, but I do think I'll catch bream on the, on the long line also. Um, I've got, I've got um, eight mil pellets and micros. I've also got some corn. Um, and I've got some expanders as well that I've done. Um, I've done a slightly heavier method because it's deeper here. So a lot of people are saying that I'm not showing my, my setup correctly. So let me, let me show you my setup. So this is eight pound uh, line. This is a, on this one, I've got a 4,000 TDR. On this one, I've got a 36 gram hybrid because it's quite deep, as I said, um, with elasticated. Uh, size 10 QM1 with a bayonet and this is on a 10 foot Tawny Pro. So this is for chucking over my ping line and down the edge here, sort of, I'll say down the edge, probably see them fish are sort of bubbling there. So I don't know, 14 meters out, maybe 16 meters, something like that to that, to the left there, basically. Um, my other rod is, is the classic slow sinker. And again, people are asking how I set it up and et cetera, et cetera. So here we go. Right. So we've got eight pound line again. This is a 3000 TDR. This is my Guru 11 foot pellet waggle rod. So it's got a bit of backbone to it, which I think, think was what you want. This is a Fox medium bulk bubble with basically glued. I've glued up all of the places where the water can come out and I've left one entrance where I'm putting gelatine. So two or three leaves of gelatine with warm water, put it in the fridge and it sets. That's it, done. Um, after a couple of uses, you're gonna to wanna to take the gelatine out and then put fresh gelatine in. Um, this is 020, uh, no it's not, it's 022 um, hook length, 15 inches, to a size 12 
MWG and a band. You'll notice that I've tied the band very, very close to the back of the hook um, because when you're getting bites on this method, the, the bites are very, very aggressive. And I found if I was leaving the band too far from the bottom of the hook, then I was foul looking a lot of fish. So I found if I put the band tighter to the back of the hook, nice and tight, it makes it more of an, uh, well, it makes it basically better to hook the fish. That's just what I found, you know, don't take it as gospel, but that's just what I found. So that's my two setups. Um, you've seen my, you've seen my bait selection. I've got some corn also for the short line, which I'm going to try. And uh, what I'll do is I'll check in throughout the day and let you know some updates. Uh, I'm in Peg 8, as I said, deep part of the lake. Uh, I've got James to my left, James Power. He's got a five aside back with me. And I've got Josh Blavins, two or three pegs to my right, who also wanted to have a five pound side bet with me. So yeah, got me work cut out. I'd say I'm in the, probably the worst peg in the section, but we'll see. But as I said, I've, I've had some good and bad days on this peg. It's, uh, I've left uh, some, some good and bad memories on this peg, shall we say. But anyway, hope you're enjoying the channel. Um, hope you're enjoying um, you know, my footage and what I'm trying to bring to you guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying the fact that I'm sort of really trying to go in depth on what I'm doing. Uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And then when you do hit the subscribe button, if you could pop a little comment in the bottom to say that you have subscribed, that'll be hugely appreciated. So I'll check in later on and let you know how we're getting on. Cheers, guys. All right, I thought it was time for a little update. Uh, times 10 to 10, match started at nine. We've got 21 pound on the clicker, four carp. Um, they all came quite quickly, if I'm honest. Um, biggest one of probably about seven pounds, something like that. Um, there's a really awkward crosswind at the moment. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, it's sort of went out, fish, 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 and now it's sort of gone really, really quiet. Uh, I don't know whether they've sort of backed off or they've gone deeper, but um, as I said, I've started on the slow sink. I got four, but Definitely, definitely's not uh, setting the world on fire. That's for sure. Um, just pinging, sort of double pinging three pellets, and then chucking over it as normal. But doesn't seem to be much action out there. You, you know, normally you sort of see a few swells and a bit of fizzing, but not a lot at the moment. I've put some, put some sort of pinging some six mil pellets, sort of to that short line there, and keep an eye on that and I am going to have a little chuck on a method on that soon. Um, I might start off by chucking a method over the over the ping where I've been feeding the short the, the slow sinker but uh, yeah not a lot to report at the moment if I'm honest. Mate to my left got one not sure about to my right I've got trees I've seen both sides so I can't see a lot but uh, see a bit of fizz in there. I don't know if that's brain. Not sure. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna sort of keep chopping and changing, try different things. And I'll come back to you soon, hopefully with some updates and some fish. That's your update guys, speak soon. All Cheers. right, so little update for you. Uh, the time is now 11.01. So we've been going two hours. Uh, caught four carp on the slow sinker and I've had two carp on the method over the top where I've been pinging. Um, I did have a nice carp a little while ago which came off. Uh, I also I think I hooked a bream so I've got it halfway in and it's sort of really slow and that's come off as well so difficult. Um, I'm still feeding pellets over the top uh, but I can't seem to get them up in the water like I was before previously. Um, but yeah, I'm just, just chucking the method and just see, you know, waiting for it to go round. But it's not, it's not sort of fast and furious, that's for sure. Uh, James to my left, I think, has got three or four. Uh, Paul to my right's got three or four. Josh, Josh has got a few in the next peg. Um, but yeah, it's fishing quite difficult. Fishing quite difficult. Um, I've been feeding a short line here by the tree sort of just over the shelf, uh, just pinging some six mil pellets over there. I've 
had a couple of goes on that, but nothing, no liners, no nothing. Um, doesn't seem to be a lot moving about at the moment. Um, I will keep obviously pinging pellets, but not, not going mad, you know, just sort of pinging a few. Uh, maybe have, I don't know, five chucks on the method and then, if nothing, <clears throat> go back on the slow sinker again. I can see fish sort of fizzing just past where I'm pinging, just past where I'm pinging. I don't know whether that's bream or, I'm not sure. I was getting a few liners before as well. There's definitely fish about, um, but they're not, they're not obviously ravenous at the moment. A bit more difficult. So, clicker saying 30 pound, I'd say that's a bit strong. I'd say I've probably got about 26 pound in that, in that sort of region. So hopefully it gets better later. A little crossed. update for you. It's been really, really difficult so far. Well, it's 10 to 12 and I think I've now hooked fish number, I think it's number seven, something like that. Um, but it's been hard. I mean, this I've, I've chucked the method out quite a few times, didn't go round. I mean, a few, few chucks in the method, a few chucks on the slow sinker, and I couldn't get a bite for ages. And I've literally just chucked this out, it's hit the water and gone round. So you never know, they might be back, fingers crossed. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Um, Obviously the weather's gonna start turning now, so my opinion in this is this slow sink is gonna get more and more difficult. So you're gonna to have to start thinking about sort of cage feeder for the bream method, obviously for the carp. Uh, there's a lot of bream in here, a lot of bream. Um, sort of dead maggots, uh, dead maggots and worm approach, ground bait, stuff like that. It's quite deep. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, hopefully I get this one in. I'm just trying to play them really, really carefully today because obviously every fish, every fish really counts. I have lost a couple, but not not as many as I normally do. This feels quite a small fish it's trying to bury itself under my keep net. There it is. Beautiful common, lovely colour. Good fish, five pound maybe. Oops. By my reckoning, that puts us on. Where are we? So, I'd say that's about. 36 pound in that region so we're in the running you know we're in the running what time is it it's um nearly 12 o'clock so we've got three hours left so yeah just keep plugging away and hopefully they keep coming feels like a good fish if i can get it in that's good What's he got? Has he? I've cut the fish of the method and I've just chucked this out and it's just gone, gone round again. Can't get him up though. Good fish. Come on. Great fish. Oh, it's got to be best part of eight pounds, I'd say. Seven, eight pound. Nice mirror. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's actually over 15 there. So 50 pound net limit. So that's that net done. According to the clicker, it's on 52, but I reckon that's bit strong so I'd say there's about 48 pound in there 47 something like that 
what time is it now? It's um, five past 12. Um, it's just started getting a bit better again and getting a few more bites. So there's your update. Check it again soon. Cheers, guys. Where are we? Half 12-ish, I'd say. Yeah, half 12. Um, I'd say I got probably 70 odd pound. Started getting a bit better. I think I've had four or five in the last four or five chucks. I've got this one on now. A couple of real good fish. Sort of seven pounders, eight pounders. A couple of real, you know, dollops. A few of them soon add your weight up. This one's fancies a trip down the other end of the lake, this one. Can't seem to get him back. He's gonna go under that tree, I know he is. This is gonna be curse of the camera, I knew it. <laughs> as soon as I put the camera on, I lost one. Same old story, eh? 10 past one. Got another fish on now. Um, you get, as I said earlier, you can sort of get a few, then it disappear for a bit. I think I've probably got about 80 pound. James had a real quiet spell next to me, but now he's getting one a bung. And then I had a quiet spell for sort of 15 minutes and I've just hooked this one here. Hopefully, we haven't got the curse of the camera and it comes off when I start recording. Still on the slow sinker. Trying to ping, sort of pinging three pellets, but not many. I don't think they're sort of coming to the feed. I think they're sort of sitting back past the feed, if I'm totally honest. That's, cut, that's pulled out, Sandy. Luckily it pulled out when it was in the landing net. All right, so update for you. Um, we are into about an hour left of the match. Uh, I think I got about 90 pound, I'm going to guess 92, 94 <clears throat> in that region. Um, James is doing well to my left, he's got similar. Josh, two, three pegs down, is also doing very well. He's admitting to 100, so yeah, it's going to be close. I'd say Josh is definitely pipping it if he's got 100. I, wouldn't, I haven't got 100 yet, definitely not. Um, I need this to sort of go round and keep going round for the, for the last hour, definitely, if I'm going to stand a chance. Um, I'm probably going to give this 10 more minutes, and if it doesn't go round, I am going to have a couple more chucks down there, because I've been literally feeding that edge under that tree all day. So something's got to be there, surely. They were fizzing where I was chucking earlier, but they seem to have stopped now. As I said, you get two or three and then, and then nothing. I think James next to me is fishing another sort of, I'd say probably 10, 15 meters more than me, if I'm honest. Um, it's very, very hard to sort of kick, cue them up, shall we say. You, as I said, you get one or two and then it's nothing. Um, it's as if they sort of come in, have a feed, move out again. Come in, have a feed, move out again. Uh, it's been like that all day. You had to really sort of graft for your fish all day, really. James next to me is catching well now, he's getting what a bung. this a bit longer and I've got to have a little chuck down the edge there. If I can nick three, four quick fish down there, it's all about, you know, trying to sort of get that edge to try and beat the competition. I'd say Josh is in a better peg than me, so I'd say he's got more fish in front of him than I have. That is known to be better, sort of slightly further down. Um, so yeah, I've got to try and ring the changes, I think, in a bit. I'll be back with some uh, some more more updates. Hopefully, with some more fish. Cheers, guys. 
this will be a final update of the uh, final update of the video of the, of the match, should we say? Um, didn't have a bite for about an hour, and I've just literally got this one here. Whether I get it in or not, I'm not sure. About an hour ago, I lost a monster fish. Um, I'm going to guess I've probably got a hundred, might have ninety-five, a hundred pound, but it's 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 been very very difficult. You get one, then nothing. Ages, and you get a bite out of the blue like this, and you get another one. I've tried all over the peg with a method. I've tried pinging, I've tried long, I've tried short. <clears throat> it's been very very hard. Let's pray to God I can get this one in. It's about five minutes of the match left, right? So roughly. Hope you've enjoyed the upload. I'll do my best to film the way in and give you the results after. I think this now knows it's hooked. <clears throat> Feels like a good fish. If I can get it in. Don't come off. Oh, it's not ready yet. It's the first fish in ages. Just the bottom of the lip. Right. So there we go, another enjoyable day at Auburn's Lakes. So the day started off, I drew peg eight. Uh, I've had some really rubbish days on peg eight and some not too bad days on peg eight. The last time I drew it, I didn't catch a fish for two hours uh, and ended up with 97 pound, which did include a load of bream as well. That was going back a couple of months. Anyway, cut long story short, I've, I've drawn peg eight. I've caught a few fish on the method. I've caught a few fish on the slow sinker. I've then tried short on the method, couldn't get a bite. Um, I just plugged away on the slow sinker, just swapping. I thought a couple of fish went dead, a couple on the method went dead, a couple on the slow sinker. Lost a few again. Um, but anyway, I've ended up with £122, uh, which has come second in the match. Uh, Josh Blavins, two pegs down, had £140-something. So it wasn't a million miles off. Um, James, to my left, had a 98. Uh, there was a few other sort of 80s and 90s. So yeah, £122, uh, second in the match. So yeah, pretty happy. Quite a difficult day, if I'm honest. I couldn't cue the fish up at all. Couldn't, couldn't line, line the fish up in the slightest. 
So it was really just a case of nicking a couple here, a couple there, a couple here, a couple there. But yeah, managed to managed to squeeze seconds. So overall, an enjoyable day. I hope you enjoyed the upload. Please don't forget to subscribe. And when you do, please pop a comment that you have subscribed. And uh, see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.